Hi, my name is Sam. Welcome to another screencast episode on ColorMyLearning.com. In this video, we're going to look at the social course format on Moodle VLE. How to set up a course that uses the social format and when do you use a social format. You need to be logged on to your Moodle server as a course creator in order to create courses. So here I am, I'll click on the add a new course. Now there are two compulsory fields here, the course full name and the course short name. So I will put down the course full name here. Now short name. The rest are not compulsory but it is optional so you can actually add more information if you want to. And I will just do that, copy the app name and paste it here. Right, so what you need to do then in order to change this into a course format that uh, will be just a social forum, you need to click on under the format, click on the drop down box and select social. And what will then happen is that this screen will refresh to show you the options for a social format. And just to go through quickly, what are the social formats? You can actually allow uh, the students to upload um, information. So you can set a limit on the size of the files that they can upload. You can allow guests, which would mean that they can just view but not participate. You can also set groups if you're using groups, which will be a separate topic of discussion. Um, so when you're ready for this course, click on the Save Changes button. Now you realize that some of these options are very standard for when you're creating a course. You'll then be asked to enroll some students into your course. Now you can do this by manual enrollment by clicking on the Enroll button, Enroll User button, and find your students from there. Or you can open up the enrollment so that they are allowed to self-enroll into this discussion, which would be ideal because then you would remove the administrative process of enrolling them manually. So I'll click on the short name to go back to the course and what then happens is you see this course showing only one discussion. You will get all these standard blocks on the right or the left depending on your team and obviously you get the settings and the navigation block as well. Um, but what you see mainly is just this, all the sections have disappeared. So all the typical sections that you get either weekly or topically, they're not here. What you need to do then is to change the settings of this forum to give it more information so i'll click turn editing on and immediately you would see the gear icon this gear icon allows you to edit the summary so i'll click on that and what i'll do is i will put down here a nice image or graphic so i click on add insert an image find and upload one and choose browse or choose desktop and find an image that is suitable so open this image and upload now Put a short description for the image and click insert. So now I have a nice image, a short discussion that says, you know, this forum is available for chatting if you want to. Um, this is mainly used as a social. Obviously, we're going to use it specifically to critique artwork. So in theory, you can actually upload a piece of artwork here and allow students to critique. Now, the other uses would be to allow them to ask the questions on here or to allow them to mingle online and socialize and get to know each other. So there are other options for a forum, which is typical of a forum when you add a new forum in the course area, be it a topic format or a weekly format. Um, you just have to click on add a new resource or activity and choose the forum there. And then you will get these options. Now in here, I have allowed the students to rate as well. So it'd be interesting to see this then allows them to rate a sort of one to five if the questions or the critique is a good one or the um, or the replies is a good one so all these are available to you you can restrict the date where you would allow them to rate as well you can also say whether they are allowed uh, to track the forum so that there'll be a number appended to next to the forum whenever there are new ones uh, new posts available and then when you're ready to scroll down to the bottom and click save and display
So here you are, the forum itself that we've just created with a nice image and a quick introduction. I'm going to add a new discussion topic just to kick things off. Okay. So when I'm ready, click post to forum. Now this is typical of all uh, forums where you are allowed a time frame to go back and edit your posts if you need to, otherwise it'll be pushed out to the um, participants of this course. So here I have a discussion forum. So if I click on that, I will then see what I'm asking them to do. Um, they can simply click reply on that or they can choose to post a new forum. So that's all with regards to setting up a forum format, a forum format for a course. Now, when I'm ready, click turn editing off and I'm back to the normal view. So they can click on discuss this topic and continue to post their comment, or they can click on add a new discussion topic to add a question if they wish to regarding this course. And this is useful specifically for courses that don't need a lot of online resources. Um, things are done more pretty much hands-on in the class and that they don't really have to come back to an online platform other than to have a discussion online um, which is pretty useful. We look at how to set up a course that uses the social format um, as well as the settings that are available and we also looked at posting a discussion topic as well as allowing students to post their own with a little message that um, sort, of re sort of direct help them to, um, to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, go to colormylearning.com and remember to share this tutorial on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.